Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate random numbers, but in this case we're going to generate two random numbers and we want them to be different from each other. We don't want to generate the same random number. And I ran across this particular solution on the MrExcel.com forum. Uh, Barry Houdini is the guy who kind of came up with the solution and i got to give him all props for this. It was a fantastic way to, uh, to do this. So I've already put the formula in here and I'll just kind of go through explaining what it does. Um, basically what we've got this first number with the first random number we have here we're going to use the random rand between function basically we're giving it if I uh, look at the function argument basically we're going to give it our first number and then our second number so give me a random number between 1 and 5 so this is what this function is doing cancel let me cancel out of that and based on that we want our second random number generator to generate a number but not b that number. So from a number from 1 to 5, but the second number can be anything but that number 5. And see we have a number 4 here. So if I go ahead and uh, just manually calculate this, if I calculate it now, you'll notice that uh, never once does it generate the same number. And the reason why is because of this particular uh, formula. So let's go through the formula to see how it really works. So let me go ahead and bring up the evaluate formula and kind of describe what's going through this particular formula. So what it's looking at is looking at B2 and with B2 it's going to look at this array of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As we mentioned before the top number is 1, the bottom number is 5 so we want a random number between 1 and 5. So what it's doing is looking through 1 to 5 and seeing if B2 equals that. So what's going to happen here is B2 is going to see the number 1 here because 1 is equal to B2 and what it's going to do is within this if statement it's going to turn it into a blank so if I go ahead and evaluate that you can see 1 equals uh, there so it's going to it's going to go through some true and falses so that's true that's false 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 so anything that's true it's going to put a blank so if I evaluate that you'll see that the true show up and anything that's true is going to have a blank in front of it so it's only going to show 2 3 4 and 5 All right so we have 2 3 4 and 5 and basically, since it's true that the, the end of that if statement uh, doesn't come into play because it's true. So we just have 2, 3, 4, 5. And the next function here is going to take a random number between 1 and 4 because really we've taken out um, 4 of the numbers now. We've taken out one of the numbers, so instead of 5, we only have 4 numbers. So we only need to generate a, num a random number between 1 and 4 and then pull it into the small function. So when I evaluate this, so now we evaluate to, the, to that random number between 1 and 4. So now we have that 4 here. So it's going to take the, the fourth um, the fourth smallest number. So 2 is the first smallest number, 3 is the fourth smallest number, 4, four is the third, and 5 is the fourth smallest number. So it's going to bring it into the small function and that's why we get the number 5. So I'm going to close that. And that's how that works. Now you may be wondering, I've got one random number generated, I've got two. What if I want a third one? So what if I want a third random number right uh, let's go ahead and just uh, give this a different facade uh, we'll give this one a different color too uh, maybe I'll make this one or a little bit oranges basically it's taking this particular formula and just expanding it a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and take this formula control C to copy press escape so I don't do anything go into this cell and then control V to paste so what I'm gonna do now here is I need to put another if statement here so I'll go if and I'm going to go ahead and put if C2 now, if C2 uh, equals, if that's true, also put bring in a blank. Uh, if not, then go ahead and bring this array. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this array. Let me con control C to copy. And then bring it after the comma here, control V to paste. Now what, what I need to do here now is the random number is going to be dropping down to 3. I'm only going to have three values now that I can create a random number between to select my small. I think I need to close this with the parentheses over here um, to close out the small there. And let's see if that worked. Yep. So now I can go ahead and do some checks here. Uh, I'll go ahead and see if this works. Go into formulas. Let me calculate it. And once I calculate it, you can see now that it's generating the random numbers and we don't have a random number we don't have a number 
that occurs more than once out of these three, right? And we can do a check here. I can do like, uh, does does B equal C? And then does C equal D? And then does B equal D? Right? So basically what we're going to do, I'll enter equals does B2 equal C2, a tab. That's false. And then here I go, does C2 equal D2 tab? That's false. And then, and then does B2 equal, does B2 equal D2 uh, per center, right? So they're all false. So this this is my test to see if any of these are occurring more than once. So if I click calculate now, you see false stays the same. And if I keep calculating this, you'll see that the random number generated has generated random numbers. None of them are equal to each other. Now, in this case, we have a random number between 1 and 5. But what if we wanted to generate a random number between 1 and 100? Now, if we wanted to do that, you know, you'd have to go ahead and type this all out, 1 to 100. Now, that can get kind of tedious. But there's a way that we can do this to make it a little bit quicker. And we can make it a little bit more easy if we wanted to expand our numbers and grow it later on. And we can use this as a template. So what I'm going to do here is I press Escape. I'm going to go ahead and create a range of numbers here. Let's let's create a range of numbers between 1 and 100. So I'll just type 1. Uh, press Control Enter to stay in that cell. And I'm going to go into the Home tab, go under Fill, uh, Fill Series. And I'm going to fill it within the column. And then I'm going to stop at 100. So it's going to fill a number from 1 to 100 right here, right? And so for this one, I'm going to just take the minimum of 1 and the maximum of whatever's in that column. Uh, because maybe later on, I'm going, to, I'm going to expand that to 200, 300, 400. So I'm going to do the random between uh, the minimum of column A. Oops. Oh, and I can't include uh, A1 because that's text. And once I include that, it's going to give me an error. Uh, another way I can do it, let me go ahead and press Escape first. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Select there and just press Delete. And I'm going to start 1 from A1. So I'm going to type 1, press Control Enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and go with Fill, Series, and under Column. And then Stop Value is 100. Click OK. And so I have 1 to 100. Uh, if I go Control Down Arrow, you can see 100's at the bottom. Let me go ahead do control up arrow go back so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use the minimum as my first number here and then the maximum as my second number so what I'm going to do is type min and then the min in column A close parentheses and then the max in uh, open parentheses also column A uh, close parentheses close parentheses again press enter so it's given me the minimum of 1 which is 1 here and then the maximum of that column, which is 100. So in, anytime that I go ahead and click Calculate Now, it's going to take that into consideration. Now, how do I get 1 to 100 here? Well, what I can do here is I can just go ahead and scoop that out and delete that. And I'm going to go ahead and just take uh, this cell, press Control shift down arrow, and it's going to select from A to 100. Now that doesn't really give me the numbers, but what I can do is I can select this very carefully and press the F9 key, the function 9 key, and it's going to execute that range. It will find out what's in that range. And let me go ahead and expand this out. And so what it's done is it's given me all the numbers within A2, A1 to A100, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc., until you get to 100. And so that has actually given it to us as a shortcut. Now I don't have to worry about typing it all in. Now I can, all I can do is just control C to copy that and I can bring it over here to the second one here and go ahead and control V to paste that and now that's there. And all I need to do now is change my RAND between. So instead of 1 to 4 we always have to minus 1 off the 100 because that's going to go ahead and uh, do a random number between 1 and 99 and bring it into that small function. So if I go and press enter you now you'll see that I have my 87. So once I've done that, I've got my copy and paste. I can just, I already still have it in my um, clipboard. I can go ahead and just do Control V to paste the number in there. And I can go ahead and use Control V. Oops, I have two curly brackets here. Let me go ahead and delete that. Control Z to undo. Let me go ahead and delete that. And delete the one over here. And let me go ahead now and select the curly bracket for that one. 
control V to paste so I have my 1 to 100 there and then control select the one over here control V to paste and it's there and so I need to change these two so this um, ran between it becomes 98 it goes down uh, an additional one from the one in uh, column C here or C C2 here so press enter and let me go ahead and uh, minimize this formula bar let me scroll back up here now if I go calculate now you can see my formula here is still trying to see if there's any random numbers generated that are the same and it's not if I keep clicking now you notice that it has generated random numbers between 1 and 100 and it's not showing the same number again so that's one way we can do it if we wanted to generate a fourth random number, basically what we're going to do is nest another if statement in here and reduce this down to uh, 97. So it can get a little hairy. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest doing it. Maybe three random numbers are good enough, but that's the way that we can uh, create random numbers that don't repeat. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.